Hello everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel, I'm Ryan and today we are here with another tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Today we want to learn an effect called Ripple. You know Ripple is kind of a wave that when a drop falls into water, you can find that Ripple happens on that surface. Jump into the program and then you can create a shape, you can create a text or whatever you like or even it can be your video. So here for example I'm gonna create a text, so just clicking on the text icon here and then uh, I'm writing, uh, I don't know, maybe again my name. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. With the selection tool, I'm making it bigger. After clicking, use shift. Okay, and now I think it's good. And so where is that effect? Click the layer you want the ripple applied to it. And then go to the effects. Under the distort, you can find the ripple. And also there are other ways to find an effect that we have talked in the previous videos. So here we have applied our ripple. And now what should we do is just to start change the setting of this effect. Okay, let me just increase the radius to a random number and then you can change whether it's good or not. And then the next one is center of the ripple. Here you can see the sphere at the center of our text that you can change this dot to change the affection center of this effect. So I'm okay with this to be in center and then the next one is type of conversion. It's asymmetric and symmetric, which it, it's depend on you if you're gonna use a symmetric one. So here is not so important, so I'm using the symmetric. And then wave speed, you can change the speed of this wave when you are looking at the animation. So I'm just increasing it to maybe uh, two. And then here we have the wave width, which is also very important. I'm just increasing it or decreasing to show you how this is affecting. Okay, you can see the ripple right now. You can feel it, that how is this affecting. Okay, I believe it's maybe good right now and then the wave height. You can also change it, uh, maybe, yeah, it could be good. And then the ripple phase, which is not important here, so. And now that we have set all of the setting, we may find out that uh, maybe we have increased the radius so much, so I'm gonna be decreasing it to a number like, yeah, it could be good. And now let's just start the animation and see what we have created. So, space on your keyboard to see the animation, and here you can feel the water and the ripple effect, which is kind of a wave. So this video is also over, I hope you like it, and if you have any question about this FX or anything in this program, just ask me in the comment section below and I'll answer as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, we have lots of videos on my channel, don't forget to see them. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.